The lights will soon be on at a local ski area. The community helped to bring night skiing to Cochrane's. Jennifer Redding has more. It was a half a century ago that the Cochrans built this hill. That's become a fixture in the Richmond community. Uh, my grandfather built a little rope towel behind the house, and, um, and it wasn't long before neighborhood kids were here skiing under the lights. But those lights were actually just a pair of spotlights, and this mom-and-pop place, which has long been a haven for Vermont's younger skiers, has never been able to support night skiing. You know, in the last six years, we've had uh, snowmaking put in. We've had a lot of changes to the hill, clearing sections, and um, so it was kind of the next thing on our list. Over the past year, ski parents, local high schools, and private donors have rallied together to change that. And uh, now, 50 years later, we're finally getting lights again. We'll be able to ski in the dark, just like they did in the beginning behind the house. Here, we're going to have, yeah, the real thing. We're going to be getting but the real thing came with a $35,000 price tag, and it was the community that made it possible. You know, it's community supported now, and that has saved this place. You know, talk about really where we'd be without people like Mandro. It would have it would have died. The easy part of, 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 of a dream is writing a check. Leandro Vasquez is one of the ski parents who headed the fundraising efforts. Digging some trenches, uh, running excavators, uh, tractors, laying cable in holes. All in an effort to help the Cochrans provide more convenient night training for local kids. It's, it's not a lot of money to run them. These bad boys will now allow Cochrans to stay open till 730, which will extend the ski day by about three hours, but the hope is to not disrupt the community. Because it's going to be bright. I mean, it's a ski area that's going to be lit up. So hopefully by closing, you know, 7.30, 8 o'clock, we won't really be affecting the stargazers and, and all of that. The goal is to have the lights installed by next week and trails open by December. Jennifer Redding, Channel 3 News, Richmond. This weekend, Cochran's will hold its ski sale at Camel's Hump Middle School in Richmond. It's the Hill's biggest fundraiser. Jennifer looks pretty rugged there. Yeah. <laughs> Carrying those big lights around. Good news for them. Get yeah, it is. Up, right? It's very cool. But it may be a little